How to crochet a chevron mug cover. Welcome to my channel. To make my mug cover, I'm using bonus wool with a 4mm hook. Make a slip knot. I am chaining 23. If you want it bigger, use the method I showed you in my chevron measurements tutorial video. Miss the stitch with the loop coming out of it and do one double crochet in two stitches. That's one double crochet. Now we need to do another in the next stitch. To make the dip, you need to miss a stitch. To start making your peak, do one double crochet in the next three stitches. To make your peak, do three double crochet in the next stitch. Do one double crochet in the next three stitches. We are on our next dip. This time we are missing two stitches. Do one double crochet in the next three stitches. Make your next peak by doing three double crochet in the next stitch. Do one double crochet in the next three stitches. You will have three stitches left. Miss a stitch and do one double crochet in the last two stitches. Chain one at the end. It may look a bit too big for your mug, but it'll shrink slightly when you get to around row 4. Keep repeating this sequence until you are ready to change your colour. I am doing 3 rows of each colour. Because the chain row counts as a row and I've already done a row, I only have to do one more before changing my colour.
Keep making your rows until your cover goes all the way around your mug. So your ending. Filling in the bottom gaps. These are your dip stitches you're going to miss. Count four stitches up and attach your wool in the fourth stitch. Chain one. Miss one and do one double crochet in the next two loops. Miss two loops and do one double crochet in the next three loops. Chain one at the end. Turn your work. Miss a stitch and do one double crochet in the next two stitches. Miss a stitch and do a slip stitch in the last stitch. You do the same on the top gaps. Fasten off. On the bottom of your work, there are no side gaps to fill in. The top sides. Attach your wool here. Miss one and do one double crochet in the next three stitches.
chain one and turn. Miss a stitch and do one double crochet in the next two stitches. Do a treble in the last stitch, fasten off. Fill in the rest of your gaps. Sew your ends in the V-stitches. Adding a border. Chain 1. I have a video tutorial where I go into more detail on how to add a border. When you get to the end of each side, do three double crochet in one stitch to make your corners. Slip stitch in the stitch after the chain. Sew your ends in. Thank you for watching. In the next video I'm going to show you how to add your strap.